How's it going everybody? My name is Just Jared, but you can just call me Jared, your one-stop shop for legendary loot news and info, no grind or limbs required. Welcome back to another loot news video. Today's topic is Destiny 2 and the new Solstice of Heroes event that just went live yesterday. Let's get right into the good stuff and talk about all the loot you can earn during this year's event. Once again, Solstice of Heroes introduces an entire new armor set for each class that you pick up from Ava Levante at the tower. After running through the first Solstice mission, she'll gift you the entire green armor set, each piece coming equipped with different tasks on them, that once completed, upgrades headpiece to the next rarity. The sets can be upgraded two times, from uncommon to rare, then to legendary. Each time you upgrade the set, it changes how it looks, getting more epic each time. Here you can see the transformation of the entire armor set for your tasty viewing pleasure. Once you get to the legendary version of the armor, it can then be masterworked, if you have the time to grind out the tasks of course. What's important to note about the legendary version of the Solstice armor set is that it will be the first armor 2.0 set in Destiny 2 Shadowkeep. If you are able to obtain the legendary version before Solstice ends on August 27th, you'll be able to pick up the remastered 2.0 Solstice armor once Shadowkeep releases, and you'll be able to don some super shiny gear while exploring Destiny 2's new expansion right from the get-go. Now for the rest of the acquirable loot that came with the Solstice of Heroes event, we must take a trip down to the Eververse store in the tower. Tess Everest has a ton of new goods for sale. Unfortunately, to get any of the new cosmetics this time around, you either have to spend your Bright Dust on them, once they are in the Bright Dust section of the store, or spend IRL cash on Destiny's in-game currency. There is no event engram that drops when you level up like past events. Kinda sucks, but in all fairness, a lot of people have Bright Dust saved up in extremes right now, and I think Bungie wants people to spend what they have before Shadowkeep releases. Each item I'm about to show you will eventually be available for purchase with Bright Dust via the Bright Dust tab in the store, so you can get everything without spending any money if you have the dust, of course. Starting off with the Bright Dust tab for week 1 of Solstice of Heroes, you can get the Paperwork Emote. The Jubilant Shell. The Summertide Kite Ship. The Micro Mini Sparrow, literally the best item in the entire store right now. I just had to own this, it looks so dumb. It's just so good. You've got the Hip Bump Multiplayer Emote, the Triumphant Projection, and the Buried Treasure Projection. And you also have the new Beach Ball Transmat Effect, the new Sandcastle Transmat Effect, a shader called Tangerine Gloss, which makes my guardian look like she just threw up on herself, and another shader called Pomegranate Gloss. Remember, all of these reset every week. They might not show up again in the Bright Dust store, so get the ones you want while you can. Moving on to the rest of the new super sweet summer themed cosmetics, let's go over to the event tab here and look at what we have. Starting off with the pinnacle of cosmetics, Solstice of Hero Armor Glow Packs. These armor glow packs net you an entire glow set for the Solstice of Heroes armor in Arc, Void, or Solar. They take the already awesome white and gold Solstice armor and add a bunch of unnecessary flair that we all definitely need. Anyways, you've got the Breathe In exotic emote here. The Flag on the Play exotic emote. The Shady Shell and Buoy Shell. This amazing sparrow called Legacy 2 that is for sure a boat. They did an awesome job with the sparrows this time around for once. A lot of the times they look pretty weird and crazy and odd, but this time I actually like how both of them look. I mean, the, the chubby looking small one is hilarious, but... The Silly Handshake is another multiplayer emote that's available to purchase. The Flick of the Wrist exotic emote is... Pretty fly. Then you've got a bunch of ghost projections, sunglasses, palm tree crab, and beach ball. Amazing. And that does it for the new cosmetic loot added to the Eververse store with 2019's Solstice of Heroes event. 
There is one more thing though. If you somehow have all the time in the world or literally aren't playing any other game right now and you're able to acquire the legendary version of the Solstice Armor for all three classes, then Eva Levante will give you this Void Streak Sparrow, a Sparrow from Destiny 1. That's totally unrelated to this event, but I guess it's a thing to chase if you want to chase it. Why is Ava giving you a Sparrow? Why is it a Sparrow from Destiny 1? Why is it a Sparrow from Sparrow Racing League in Destiny 1? Why is it Void and not Arc or Solar? So many questions. It's kind of random. Maybe they just couldn't design a new one and they were just like, let's just take one from our previous game and throw it in there as something cool. I don't know. I'm, I don't work it for Bungie. I wish I had the answers. I mean, it's a cool Sparrow, but it's not cooler than the really tiny one, which is like super cool. Anyway, that's it for this video. My name has been Just Jared, your one-stop shop for legendary loot news and info, no grind or limbs required. Like the video for shaders that don't make me physically vomit, and subscribe to sign the new petition to add beach ball to the tower hangar, because, I mean, who plays soccer in there anymore? Nobody. Until next time, happy looting.